Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Vice President Kamala Harris promises $750 per individual who was affected by this hurricane while she was visiting there in Atlanta, or in Georgia, specifically. <clears throat> and you and I and I say, why? Why so little? These people have literally lost everything. Everything. What is $750 going to do? Her family. What is that going to do? We got more for a stimulus check during COVID than those people who are who've been affected now with this hurricane, which you know they didn't know was going to move that far in, inland. It's going to cause that much that much destruction, and these people did not have flood insurance, so we don't know if the if the insurance companies if these people had homes whether the insurance company is going to even cover their loss. And all you're going to offer them is $750? And people are patting you on the back like you've done something so significant? This hurricane touched, hit Florida September 27th, last Thursday. Where was Joe Biden? Joe Biden was on the beach, maxing and relaxing. You remember back when... President Bush flew over Hurricane Katrina and people said he didn't have no compassion for the people who were who were just who whose lives have been literally destroyed because of this hurricane. How they excoriated him for having no compassion for just doing a flyover instead of touching down and being amongst those people, giving them some hope. But you got Joe Biden on the beach and nobody saying anything. Kamala Harris is out on the campaign trail. President Trump shows up with uh, material support, items to help these people, and they excoriate him for saying that's a photo op. But he's bringing something with him to help support those people who've lost everything. They excoriate him. Kamala shows up, laughs, offers $750. Now she's being heralded as, as, as doing something great. You see where the disconnect is here? It's just simply unbelievable. This administration is so disconnected from you, the American people. This hurricane left a path, just complete devastation. Went from a hurricane category four in Florida and went up through North Carolina, Georgia, just, just wrecking havoc in West Virginia. And many of those people, no doubt, don't have flood insurance because they're not in a floodplain. Will the federal government come in and help those people through FEMA rebuild? Will they cut the red tape for these people to rebuild on the backs of the American people? We would. I would hope so. I would hope so. I would hope that they would actually do the right thing this time and take care of the American people. For once, when you can send over $100 billion to Ukraine, a country that, that we have no alliances with, that we have no business being there, we have no business supporting them, yet we send over $100 billion. We can import, fly illegals into our country and give them over four grand in food stamps, 3,000 in cash on a food stamp card, give them housing, give them the ability to get a driver's license, and yet you, the American people, are only going to get $750. Tell me how disconnected this federal government is. You can have the illegals take over a complete uh, apartment complex, and nobody stops them. Let a black group get together and take over apartment complex. They're going to have SWAT. They have dogs, they have helicopters, they have everything, snipers, they have everything to destroy you, black people. But yet the illegals can come in and do that, and nothing happens. Nobody gets prosecuted. Because they don't care about you. Because your vote really don't count. It counts, but it don't count. They've allowed enough illegals in this country 
to compensate for you not voting for them. Right in your face. But we will see how this election pans out. And we'll see how long your 700, see how far your $750 is going to go when you don't have a place to spend that money. And everything that you own has been destroyed. Talking about a disconnect. And she wants to be president of the United States. Laughing and grinning. Don't take questions. And she thinks she's accomplished something. But many of you are going to go out and vote for her. Why? Because of abortion. And it won't even be about this hurricane relief. It'll be about that one single subject, abortion. Yo, a woman's right to unalive her child anytime she wants. And after you vote for her and she gets in office and does the exact same thing or worse than the current administration, Biden and Harris is doing, then you will be crying and complaining about, oh, no one cares about me. But when you had a choice, you vote for her because she was focused on one issue, unaliving your child. We've had a black president before. What did he push? LGBTQ. He passed bills to support LGBTQ and nothing to support you black people. Yet you still voted for him twice. And now you want to vote for her because she claims to be black. And she's pushing the unalive and you're going to vote for her. Or simply because you say she's black. Tell me how the color of her skin is going to help you with your high gas prices, your high food costs, your high energy costs, and you have the ability to buy a home. And don't tell me she's going to uh, uh, make that happen by giving you $25,000 for a new home, when all they're going to simply do is raise the price by $25,000, and you're going to be paying more for the house than you originally would have paid if she wouldn't have given you the $25,000. Or price gouging. She's going to affect price gouging. Oh, when you can't get the supplies you need because they're no longer there because the store is closed because now the it's, it's supply and demand. If there's a supply and there's larger demand, but you outsourced, you you forced them to, to leave their price at a certain amount and you raise your gas prices, you're going to force the business out of business. Just use a little common sense, American people. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you can like this video, hit the like button. Please share this video. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to The Retired Vet Show. God bless you all. Stay safe.